Georgia. Pepper and George are camping at the seaside with Granny and Grandpa Pig. I love camping in your tent. Oh, we love it too. Over the years, we've camped in the mountains, in the jungle, we've even camped on an iceberg. Ooh. We can camp anywhere with all the comforts of home. And just like at home, the naughty birds try to eat my raspberries. You naughty seagulls. Shoo! Shoo! Can we go to the sea now? Yes, let's go and have fun. I'll stay here and guard my raspberries. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to play by the seashore. Watch out for the wave, George. Here it comes. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, look what George has found. It's some old rope. It's sea treasure. Another wave, George. Run! <laughs> look, shells. More sea treasure. Hooray! Watch out for the wave! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Granny, you've got your feet wet. Yes. Oh, plastic bottles. They don't belong on the beach. And here's a bottle with something inside. It's a message in a bottle, Pepper. Ooh. What does it say, Granny? It says, hello, my name is Little Reggie Rabbit. I am on holiday with my mummy and daddy. Who's Little Reggie Rabbit? I don't know, but he's left a telephone number. Can we ring him, Granny? Why not? Hello, Grumpy Rabbit speaking. Can we talk to Little Reggie Rabbit, please? I'm afraid there isn't a Little Reggie Rabbit here. But there is a big Reggie Rabbit. That's me! Oh, so where is Little Reggie Rabbit? Well, that was me, a, a long time ago, mind you. Little Reggie Rabbit was Grampy Rabbit when he was a little boy. Oh! We found your message in a bottle. What? But I must have thrown that bottle into the sea a hundred years ago. But we don't throw bottles into the sea anymore. Do we, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no. Too much plastic in the sea. We found lots of sea treasure on the beach. Mainly plastic. Uh, did you pick it up? Yes. Good for you. Maybe you can make something from it. Then you can be like me. Grampy Rabbit likes making things out of old junk. Yes. Thank you, Grampy Rabbit. The cheeky seagulls are eating Grandpa's raspberries. Uh, shoo! Shoo! Grandpa, Grandpa, look what we found on the beach. <laughs> it's sea treasure. So it is. Well done. <coughs> oh, if only I had something to scare these birds away. Let's make something with the sea treasure. What a good idea, Granny Pig. We can use this rope to string all these bits and bobs together. There! Ah! Ah! Granny Pig has made a thing to keep the birds away. Hooray! And now it's home time. Helmets and goggles, children. Yes, Granny! All aboard and off we go! Bye-bye, Seaside! <laughs> Grandpa's motorbike goes brum 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 brum. Grandpa's motorbike goes brum 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 all day long. <laughs> the diner. Pepper and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. I love this motorhome. <laughs> a motorhome is a house that you can drive. Are we in Hollywood yet, Daddy Pig? Let's ask someone. Hello. Hello! Well, howdy, folks. I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yep, there's a lot of us around. What can I do you for? 
Stop him for some gas? No. Uh, but to eat? Well, we... Country dancing. We would just like to know if we're in Hollywood, please. No, ma'am. You're a long way from Hollywood. Oh. But as you're here, why don't you just settle down and get some of that good old home cooking in your belly? Well, I suppose we could stop for breakfast. Hooray! <laughs> so what'll it be? Sunny side up or sunny side down. Eggs over easy, no need to frown. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs over easy, please. Coming right up. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. What's eggs over easy? I flip the egg over. Thank you. And what's sunny side up? I don't flip the egg over. It stays like this. Sunny side up, please. And me. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is good at cooking eggs. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. I love my sunny side up egg. Mmm. Eggy. <laughs> Thank you. That was delicious. Now I'll just sit back, relax, and... So, who likes dancing? Me! Good! Then y'all come and meet Mr. Bob Bobcat and his band. All join hands and step to the right. Keep on stepping and make it tight. Oh my gosh, oh my Joe. Keep on stepping and here we go. Let's all join in. Y'all be neat knees. <laughs> Take your partner by the hand. Now everybody swing. Monster trucks. Monster truck. This is a monster truck. Wow! Those big wheels have got a car on top of them. <laughs> Mr. Coyote is going to jump over a big muddy puddle. <laughs> that looks fun. You can have a go, Daddy Pig. Oh, okay. Hooray! Ooh, it is a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. You need to go faster to jump over the puddle. Faster, Daddy! Daddy's <laughs> <laughs> trunk is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Mummy, <laughs> <laughs> why don't you have a go? Oh, I think we need to get back on the road to Hollywood. Hollywood? Yes, we're going to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Hash Brown? Well, he's my favourite. You can come too if you like. Oh, I would love to, darling, but I'm kind of busy. Goodbye now. Well, thanks for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Pepper and her family are back on the road to Hollywood. Hop, skip, jump. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Can't catch me. You're never going to get me. Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. What are you playing? We are running. Running is good. But can you hop? Yes, I can! Hop! 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 That's not hopping, Pepper. That's jumping. Oh! Hopping is when you jump up and down on one leg, like this. Hop, 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 hop. Rebecca hop, Rabbit hop, is good at hopping. Hop! Hop, hop, hop! Hop, 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 hop. Come on, George. Hopping is easy. You just jump on one leg. Hop. Hop. That 
That's it. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Hopping is fun. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Susie. Susie. What are you playing? We are hopping. Like this. <laughs> Super duper. But can you skip? Yes, we can skip. Skip, 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 skip. skip, 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 <laughs> skip. That's not skipping. That is just funny running. Oh. oh. Skipping is when you hop on one leg, then hop on the other leg. Like this. Susie is good at skipping. Hop on one leg. And then the other. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> oh. George is good at skipping. <laughs> I can skip the highest. I can skip the longest. I can skip the fastest. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hey. Hello, Hello, Pedro. What are you playing? We were hopping. And now we are skipping. Have you done jumping? No, but I love jumping. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Pepper is good at jumping. Hopping, skipping and jumping. Can you do them all together? What? what? Like this? Oh! <laughs> That's impossible! I mean a hop, a skip and then a jump. Like this. Hop, skip, jump. Ooh! My go! Hop, skip, ah, jump! No, that's wrong. I can do it. Skip, skip, hop. No. Jump, jump, jump. No. Let me try. Jump, hop, hop. <gasps> no. Hop, skip, jump is not easy. You have to keep it steady, like this. Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Peppa has found a muddy puddle. Hop, splash. Skip, splash. Jump, splash. Hop, skip, jump. Splash! 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 <laughs> Hop! Skip! Jump! Splash! 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 <laughs> this is the best! Peppa loves Hop! Skip! Jump! Everyone loves Hop! Skip! Jump! Especially in muddy puddles! <laughs> Rescuing Miss Rabbit! Peppa is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. Here is Mr Bull. He has come to mend the library roof. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartice is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Goodness, you hear you. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or... Oh, a ladder. What a bit of luck. There was already a ladder here. There. Finished. <laughs> Lovely job. Ladder coming through. Stand back, everyone. Got you. 
Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. Oh, I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr Ball. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just do my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Bull. Hang on. This is my ladder. Yes. Lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh, so how am I going to get down? In the library, Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! Hello, rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad! Hello, a grampy rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grumpy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on. I'm coming up. Thank goodness. I'm saved. Miss Rabbit is rescued. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me, Dad. Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit and Grampy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at rescuing. Peppa's diary. Peppa is drawing a picture. <laughs> Look, I've drawn me and George. <laughs> That's lovely, Peppa. When I was a little piggy, I used to do drawings in my diary. What's a diary? It's a storybook you make about the things you do each day. This is my old diary. Ooh. This day, I got up and I played in the garden. Next day, got up, played in the garden. Next day... You got up, played in the garden. No. Next day, got up, Played in the garden, then the circus came to town. Here is the big tent with acrobats flying about. Wow! I want to keep a diary. Good idea, Peppa. You can start your very own diary. Oh, goody. I'm going to draw in my diary every day. It is the next morning. Peppa is asleep. Morning time! I got up. <laughs> I played in the garden. Then what happened? <laughs> oh, yes. George's dinosaurs are good. But that is not interesting enough for my diary. Daddy Pig and Mummy Pig are getting lunch ready. Mummy? I've run out of things to put in my diary. Oh, why don't you tidy your room? But it needs to be something exciting. You went to the circus. Hmm, I've got an idea. Daddy Pig, please fetch the toy basket. Right you are, Mummy Pig. 
Daddy Pig is taking the toy basket into the garden. What are we doing? We can make our own circus. Roll up! Roll up! See the amazing Mummy Pig juggle before your very eyes. <laughs> Watch as Daddy Pig juggles with four plastic skittles. <laughs> oh, oh, George, please hold this hoop. And now, a Mummy Pig will jump through the hoop. Oh, OK. Drum roll, please. Hoopla! Hooray! <laughs> this is just like a real circus. And now, Peppa Pig will jump through the hoop. Drum roll, please. Hoopla! Hooray! And now, George Pig. <laughs> Hoopla! Daddy's turn. Yes. The hoop seems to have shrunk since I last used it. I've got a better idea. <laughs> Where is Daddy going now? Ta-da! Here's my old unicycle. I used to ride it a lot before I met Mummy Pig. Whoa. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. It's all right. I know what I'm doing. Ah, where are the brakes? Ah! <laughs> Ta-da! Hooray! That was the best circus ever. Now I've got lots to put in my diary. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. <clears throat> Today, I got up, I played in the garden, then the circus came to town. Ta-da! What a busy day. Yes, and tomorrow I will do lots more things and draw them in my diary. Peppa loves keeping a diary. <laughs> Everyone loves keeping a diary. Playing golf. Peppa and George are playing golf with Grandpa Pig. To play golf is quite simple. You take a golf ball and hit it with a golf club into the hole. Like this. You missed the hole, Grandpa. That's all right. I can hit it again. Missed again, Grandpa. It doesn't matter. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. There. Hooray! <laughs> Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Showing the little ones how to play golf, eh? Yes, that's right. Well, I hope your grandpa is teaching you properly. The secret is to give the golf club a jolly good swing. Wow! The ball went in the hole in one go. Yes, it's called a hole in one. Well done. Grandpa, have you ever done a hole in one? No, I never have. Well, keep trying, old chap. Who knows? You might do it one day. Toodle pip. Bye. Can I have a go now? Of course, Peppa. Do you remember what to do? Yes. You get a ball. A golf ball. And a stick. A golf club. And you hit it. Oh, it didn't go very far. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can have as many goes as you like. Ready, steady, go. My turn. Ugh, this is impossible. Don't worry, Peppa. We've got all day. <sighs> I'm a bit bored, Grandpa. Oh, what's that? It looks like a fairy castle. There's a windmill and a dinosaur. It's just kiddie golf, Peppa. It's for little children. But, Grandpa, we are little 
two children. Oh, yes. So you are. All right, you and George can play. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kiddie golf course. How do we play? Well, I suppose it is quite fun. The ball has to go through that windmill, over the back of the dinosaur, onto a fairy castle, and into the hole. Me first. <laughs> you go, George. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> What's this? Grandpa, are you playing kiddie golf? Uh, yes. Pepper and George are little, you see. Lucky you. I wish we could play kiddie golf. You can play with us. Oh, thank you, Pepper. Hmm, let me see now. Oh, bad luck, old bean. I say, this is rather fun. Oh. It must be your turn now, eh, Grandpa Pig? Oh, this is not really my kind of game. Don't worry, Grandpa. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. I suppose so. We've got all day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it all in one go? You got a hole in one. Yes, I did. For the first time in my life, a hole in one. Hooray! Well done, old chap. My grandpa is the best. Grandpa Pig loves playing golf. Everybody loves playing golf. <laughs> Big Crawly Safari. Madame Gazelle is taking Pepper and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Ah! Here is Mr. Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr. Lion, you startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not Wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Ooh! Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah! We have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood. Full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the Rocky Wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still 
and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. <laughs> Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs>